Hi guys, Pokepill here and welcome back to Pokedeck. Today we are with Dr. Finman. Hello Dr. Finman. Uh, but today we are looking at a mod called the Compact Machines mod. Now this is a new mod that came out recently for Minecraft 1.7.10 and it's in its second state now I believe. If I remember it's in its like, it's it's still an early build so there's still things being changed with it and there's still a few bugs and stuff that need to be fixed but uh... it's a pretty small mod there's not too much to it i'll show you the creative there's not too much to it but these things can be quite expensive now the uh... first things that you are going to want to make is the things called uh... atom shrinking modules and atom enlarging modules Atom shrinking modules are made with six glass, two redstone, and a sticky piston. Whereas the atom enlarging is basically the same, only it's with a normal piston, not sticky. And the next thing you're going to need is a world resizing interface. Now, for one of these, you will need one of each of the atom shrinking and enlarging modules. You will need a piece of gold, two redstone, and four iron ingots and you'll get the world resizing interface. Now you're going to need quite a few of those so it can get pricey. Now uh, the first thing I'm going to show you, I actually want to show you this, is the uh, world resizing cube. Yes you heard me right. Um, this mod is mainly about uh, dimensions and things like that so we're actually going to get the world resizing cube. So you need six of the world resizing interfaces, so quite a lot, and a diamond in the middle to get the world resizing cube. Now once you've got the cube, you will be able to make the cube into one of these, a compact machine. Now the first compact machine is pretty simple, you just put wood around uh, one of the world resizing cubes. The more advanced one, which is the second tier, which is the small, you will need iron around a world resizing cube. The third one, which is uh, the normal size one, is the gold around a world resizing cube. Then there is the big one, which is obsidian around a world resizing cube. Then there is this one, which is the giant one. This is diamonds around a world resizing cube. And then finally, the last one, which is the maximum sized uh, compact machine, which is nether stars. So this one is expensive. But uh, yeah, that's how those ones work. So I've actually got them all in here and I didn't realize. Oh well. But uh, yeah, that's how that works. So um, now to get into these diamonds, you will need a personal shrinking machine. Or in other cases, a Game Boy. So to get one of these, you'll need two resizing, uh, world resizing interfaces, a, a piece of redstone, some nether quartz, and three diamonds. So we will take this out of here because this is the one of the main things you'll need. You can't play games on it, unfortunately, but uh, oh well. But uh, if you right-click on one of these cubes, you will be teleported into it. So this, we are actually inside the cube right now. So uh, you may wonder what these interfaces are. These are actually connecting to the outside. So if we re-enlarge ourselves, now this does uh, do that. So. So, as you will see, there is a little interface on each of the corners with green and uh, grey, or darker grey. If we go inside, that represents each side of these. So we're inside the cube at the moment, but these are what those uh, green things are. So, And if we go into uh, the larger one, so you got the small, or the tiny, you got the small here, which is the same size, apparently. And then you got the uh, bigger one, which, okay, this is a bit strange. Maybe it's because they're close together. Hold on. Hold your horses. Let's go over here and do it. There we go. We got a bigger one now. So <laughs> these have to be relatively distance apart. But these are good for if you have a very compact home and you uh, want to have a bigger area for, like, your machines. You can place things in this dimension and use it just as a... Um, normal dimension, apart from you can uh, export power, liquids, um, like many different things out of here. You can do items, and uh, you can see there's a little interface here. Now, if we had, like, let's say a pipe, we could uh, put that in here, and then we could have some uh, 
water going into it and it should export to the real world. But unfortunately at the moment it seems that that isn't working properly. I've tried it out and it doesn't really work too well. So, But we are going to take a look at these because we're a bit too close together at the moment according to this. So let's spread these along here. So you've seen the uh, gold one already. Uh, you need that one. I'm going to put that one over here. This one over here. And this one over here. This might work. This might not work. I don't know. But, uh, as you can see, this one I, uh, did put some stuff into. Um, it's got the ultimate universal cable, so that should export out the top. But for some reason, the power and stuff doesn't currently work at the moment, so... Uh, I don't know if that's a bug or if it's uh, just something that's not been implemented, but as you can see, nothing is going into this machine. And if we right-click with our shrinking module, we will be put into here. No, actually, that didn't have anything in it. I thought it would. Right, so that was the uh, the iron one. This one's the obsidian one. This is huge. Jeez. And then we should have... Will these stop having these goddamn things? Right, you go put over here. Now this one is bigger as well. <laughs> this is huge. I can imagine having multiple floors on this one, but this one's the diamond one. And then the last but not least is the maximum size, which is the small one apparently okay hold on one second what the fuck oh jesus i'm breaking my labs there we go okay we'll go over here then and try it out please work there we go we got the uh, huge one so this is the uh wow this is actually massive but um yeah so if you actually had let's see where we got it i'm gonna uh, get one of those and I'm going to get some... I don't know if it's because it's mechanism pipes and they don't really work. I would have thought they would work, but currently they're not doing so. Uh, let's see. I think that's what we need. I'll put an ultimate there as well. So if we put one of these here, and I then put some cabling going up to the ceiling. So you can see this has got power in it, so... I'm just demonstrating this. Boop, boop, and boop. And you can see it connects, and of course if we go out of here, we just right click. And then you can see this one has got uh, power on it, or redstone thingy. So let's put one of those basic pipes down and we'll connect it. And look, it doesn't connect. So I think this is a bug in the current version. I think it will be fixed later on, but currently it's just a bug and it won't work. I've tried it with every side before and it just seems to be a bug at the moment. So, um, But you can connect A systems to this. You can connect all sorts. And it's awesome because if you get a really small house and you have one of those, then it... Uh, and also if you break it, it'll give you the things that was inside it. Um, yeah, but if you uh, had one of these in a small house, you would be able to make a massive place and then export things to the outside world. So, yeah, but that's pretty much the mod. There's not too much to it, but I think it's a really good concept. I think it's good for those people that like small houses and um, want to do that sort of thing. It's it's convenient mod. I really like it. So hopefully a few more bug fixes in the future. I will put a link in the description to this mod and uh, you guys can go check it out. And uh, yeah. So remember guys, hit the like button, hit the favorite button, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. And uh, yeah. So leave some feedback in the comments section. So yeah. But uh, that's the end of the episode, guys. Hope you enjoyed. And I have been Pokepale. This has been the Compact Machines mod. Hopefully more will be added in the future. And uh, some cool stuff. But doesn't really need much more, I would say. So, uh, But yeah. So hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!
la la di 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 do rom ti di la 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 and then we will set it off bombs away <laughs>